The era of the ancient Egyptians still determines the research world of archaeologists today. As one of the greatest and most powerful civilizations in human history, the inhabitants of the Pharaonic empires recorded amazing milestones in a wide variety of areas. Whether in the field of technology, mathematics, art, or of course writing, the achievements of ancient Egypt have always fascinated us. Given the numerous traces that researchers have already uncovered, however, we shouldn't forget that there are still many undiscovered secrets lying dormant in the territory of ancient Egypt, just waiting to be tracked down and unlocked. The 10 exciting discoveries that we're going to present to you today are a powerful reminder of why we're so fascinated by the age of the ancient Egyptians. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most disturbing Egypt discoveries to date. Cheops ship. The Cheops or Khufu ship gives us a vivid insight into the death cult of the ancient Egyptians. According to the beliefs of the time, death was by no means the end. It was merely the beginning of a mystical journey that, in the best case, would lead to the attainment of the kingdom of heaven. In order for the deceased to be able to reach the afterlife, a wide variety of accessories and tools were placed in the grave. This also includes the world-famous Cheops ship, a so-called Sunbark, which is one of the best-preserved ships of antiquity. However, when archaeologists rediscovered the ship in 1954 in a sealed pit in Giza, it had been dismantled into all its individual parts. However, this was not a random heap of rubble. The more than 1,200 individual parts were arranged in a logical order that made it possible to later put the ancient object back together perfectly. Some traces indicate that the boat was actually used for shipping. Possibly, this was done to transport the body of Cheops from Memphis to Giza. In addition, it's conceivable that the powerful pharaoh used the ship during his lifetime to head for sacred places. Particularly interesting, if the Cheops ship were launched today, it would still be fully functional. Rosetta Stone it's July 15, 1799, when a French officer manages to recover an ancient artifact in the Nile Delta. According to one story, however, it wasn't the military commander who tracked down the landmark object, but his horse. The horse had stumbled over the structure because it was half sticking out of the ground. Whatever the case, it's clear that we owe a lot to the so-called Rosetta Stone. As part of an inscribed tablet, the find made a significant contribution to the decoding of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. This is mainly due to the fact that the text is available in three different versions, in hieroglyphs, in Demotic script, and in Greek. In detail, the tablet was made in such a way that it could be deciphered by three different population groups. The hieroglyphs were aimed at the priests, the Demotic script at the officials, and the Greek letters at the foreign rulers of the time. If you like, the Rosetta Stone served as a kind of royal homage. The texts tell of all the great deeds accomplished by Pharaoh Ptolemy V. The Pyramids of Giza the monumental structures that have graced the Giza Plateau for thousands of years are some of the most impressive and famous testimonies of ancient Egypt. Over a period of 120 years, the mighty main pyramids, slightly smaller side pyramids, magnificent temple complexes, and large burial grounds were built here. What's particularly astounding is the fact that no wheeled tools were used during the construction of any of these masterpieces, even though the Egyptian were most likely already familiar with the wheel at the time. How exactly the workers managed to pile up the stone blocks weighing several tons into some of the most magnificent buildings of all time is still a mystery to this day. Again and again, there's talk of ingenious ramp systems and ingenious cable winches, but how the inhabitants of the Pharaoh realm actually implemented their building projects is unknown. For many centuries, it was believed that the 
pyramids of Giza were built mainly by slaves. According to this, the chained, forced laborers struggled under the whips of their masters until they were completely exhausted. However, the rediscovery of old workers' settlements and burial sites has thrown this stubborn myth into disarray. The majority of the workforce may have chosen to take part in one of the most impressive construction projects of all time of their own free will. Ramses II Ramses II is considered the most important ruler that ancient Egypt has ever seen. A total of 66 years in power, the pharaoh led his people into an absolute heyday that was never to be reached again later. As in the case of many other rulers, the mummy of Ramses II was later taken to a secret hiding place to protect it from tomb robbers. And in the late 19th century, a trio of brothers managed to find just that hiding place for the Mummies. After the looters sold some artifacts and lined their own pockets, the authorities caught them. This is how the government found out about the mummy's collection and eventually took possession of it. Among the preserved bodies were many important kings, including, as mentioned, Ramses II. In order to repair the badly damaged mummy, it was taken to Paris. Fun fact, the dead king actually needed a valid passport to enter the country, which luckily was issued to him. Examination of Ramses II showed that he had red hair and lived to be around 85 years old. In addition, the analysis yielded some groundbreaking insights into the mummifications of the former inhabitants of the pharaohs. Tutankhamun Magnificent coffins, valuable jewelry, a cruel curse. When Howard Carter finally managed to track down Tutankhamun's legendary tomb in 1922, he found a wide variety of things there. The inexplicable events that took place after the tomb was opened fuel rumors of an ancient pharaoh's curse to this day. It's said that the final resting places of the rulers were covered with dark spells to protect them from grave robbers. And indeed, many people who had entered the tomb in the Valley of the Kings were to mysteriously die a short time later. Probably the most famous victim of the pharaoh's curse was Lord Carnarvon. The British aristocrat who financed the excavations died a few weeks after the tomb was opened as a result of an infection. Incidentally, Tutankhamun is the only pharaoh discovered who still rests in his original tomb. Temple of Abu Simbel as mentioned earlier, during the reign of Ramses II, the Egyptian population experienced an unprecedented heyday. How this social and cultural peak was reflected becomes clear when we take a look at the stunning temples of Abu Simbel. Built in honor of Ramses II and his wife Nefertari, the stone monuments bear witness to the incomparable architecture of the inhabitants of the pharaohs. However, the buildings are no longer in their original place. In order to save them from the rising water level of Lake Nasser, the temples were demolished between 1963 and 1968 as part of a mammoth project and rebuilt on a plateau. The Silver Pharaoh as the third pharaoh of the 21st dynasty, Susenes I ruled between the years 1040 and 994 BC. During his reign, the king built magnificent temples dedicated to the gods Mut, Amun, and Khons. In 1940, the French archaeologist Pierre Monte managed to rediscover the tomb of the powerful ruler in Tanis. In addition to the king, his wife, a prince, and an important priest were laid to rest in it. In detail, after his death, Susenes I was placed in not just one, but in three sarcophagi. The first coffin was made of rose granite and originally belonged to Pharaoh Merneptah. Beneath it slumbered a black granite sarcophagus, also reused, that encased the object that eventually gave Susenes I his unofficial nickname. A coffin of pure silver adorned with precious gold ornaments. While the sarcophagi and the precious grave goods are still in amazing condition after all this time, the king mummy was not so lucky. It had already completely disintegrated by the time the tomb was opened. 
Boobastus. Forget the hilarious cat videos circulating the internet these days. When it comes to the question of cat worship, no other people can match the ancient Egyptians. The city of Bubastis was considered the cult center of the goddess Bastet. Within mythology, the cat goddess was considered the daughter of the sun god Re. It should therefore come as no surprise that numerous bronze cat figures and even huge cat cemeteries have been found in the ruins of Bubastis. After their death, many cats were specially transported to Bubastis, mummified, and buried in holy graves. Hatshepsut where is the mummy of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Hatshepsut? This exciting question remained unanswered for many decades before the Egyptian minister of education Farouk Hosni announced an absolute world sensation in 2007. According to this, a team of experts managed to identify the queen's mummy using DNA analysis and a CT scan. In detail, it was a body that was found in the Valley of the Kings in the early 20th century. The detailed investigation revealed that Hatshepsut probably lived to be 35 and died of cancer or complications from diabetes. In the meantime, however, the identification has been questioned again. According to this, a single tooth, which is attributed to the queen, does not fit into the gap of the mummy's upper jaw. So it is that a widespread theory once again receives new fuel. The pharaoh was allegedly murdered for political reasons reasons, and her body was then cleared out of the way. Valley of the Golden Mummies Unexpected things do often happen. It's the year 1995 when a farmer's donkey got tangled up in a caved-in grave. A few years later, it became clear what the animal had really stumbled upon the legendary Valley of the Golden Mummies. Located in the so-called El Bahariya Depression, this is probably one of the largest ancient Egyptian cemeteries of all. Some experts estimate that 10,000 people were buried here between the years 200 BC and 100 AD. So far, only 15 graves with 230 burials have been discovered. Above all, the wealthier residents were equipped with gilded breastplates after their death, hence the name Valley of the Golden Mummies. However, the deceased were not mummified here. The corpses were wrapped in linen cloths without embalming. All right, folks, now your opinion matters. What discovery from ancient Egypt amazed you the most? We're already looking forward to your comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video again. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.